Hello, SFAR members. I wanted to reach out to everyone today to give you a glimpse into what we've been working on to get all of you out in the field and all of us here in the association more answers in the aftermath of the NAR proposed settlement announcement. First off, I want you to know that the top priority for SFAR is to get this right for you, the members. We have got your back and we have committed substantial resources to prepping in advance for a possible shift in the way that we do business and the creation of new policies to utilize in our business practices. We've assembled a strong legal team to assist us in everything having to do with the implementation of the NAR settlement. And we have a pretty good head start and are fast tracking addressing these issues, including a new broker compensation advisory and an addendum to the purchase agreement that will be released as soon as possible. But we also understand that there are more questions than there are answers currently. And we want to help with that. But in order to do that, we need your assistance with a few things. First, I know that there is a ton of noise in the media right now, and much of it is not flattering for our industry. There are hundreds of articles and interviews speculating about how this will impact the market, the systems that realtors use to do their jobs, the average home buyer or seller. And of course, there's tons of sensationalized headlines that are being sure to grab people's attention so that they click or read these articles. But the problem is that most of that noise is just speculation, not facts. And no one knows all the answers to those questions yet. If you would like real factual information about the litigation and the proposed settlement, I encourage you to go online to nar.realtor or CAR's website, or even in your emails here from SFAR or our online messaging. NAR knows that they have got a big job to do. Let's help by only sharing information and facts that we actually know and have come from verified and reputable real estate industry sources. Secondly, we need your patience. We are only in the very beginning stages of this process. The NAR settlement is only just proposed. We continue to gather information about the details. The settlement will still need to be approved by the courts and it's possible that changes could be made. In this day and age where we're used to instant everything, it can feel really difficult to wait. I understand. But what we must do is take our time so that we can get this right for you. And lastly, but definitely not least, I'm going to ask you all to trust us. To trust that SFAR will always share with you accurate information in a timely manner to trust that we are constantly looking out for the safety of our members, your businesses, and your clients, and to trust us to give you ample training and tools when the time does come to make changes to our policies at SFAR. And in line with all of that, I'd like to make sure everyone is aware of two webinars being hosted around the topic of the NAR settlement to help answer as many questions as possible in this given moment. This week, CAR will be hosting a special member legal town hall on the NAR settlement. That's this Thursday, March 21st at 10.30 a.m. And it is open for all CAR members to virtually attend. And next week, next week here at SFAR, we'll be hosting our own SFAR membership town hall on the NAR settlement. That is next Wednesday, March 27th at 11 a.m. We'll give an outline on the information that we have so far and look at it specifically through an SFAR lens, as well as open up time for members to ask questions so we can try and give you as many answers as we can. You can register for either of those virtual events using the links below. So in the meantime, let's all try to take a deep breath. And as my favorite framed poster on my desk says, Let's keep calm and sell on.